What's going on guys? My name is Assam from dopelifecoaching.com and today I'm going to be talking about how to get your ex-girlfriend back after she dumped you after a two and a half year relationship. <clears throat> so just yesterday I got a client, um, let's just call him Brian right now for you know confidentiality purposes. He was with his girlfriend for two and a half years and unfortunately he got dumped by her. And there is good news to this though. And the good news is just right away. It's because he was, he had trust issues in her. It was a bit of a toxic relationship from his end because of his issues. He was controlling and he didn't give her her freedom. And she told him exactly this. Now, the first step in getting your ex back is knowing what went wrong. The good news about this situation is his ex-girlfriend told him the reasons. And not just that, she gave him hope for a better future. She said, it's possible that maybe five, six months down the line, we could be a thing. So, and obviously she loves him too. I mean, two and a half year relationship, that's a long-term relationship. That's a lot of time invested between two people. So that's the good news. Step one is knowing what went wrong. He knows what went wrong right now. And the good news also is they ended on good terms. You know, they're, there's no bad blood between them. He respectfully accepted her decision. He didn't chase her back. He didn't try to fight her for for it. Try for the fight for the relationship. Sorry, I'm choking up. <laughs> and so, that's how we can get to the second step and the third step and the fourth step, just from knowing you know the fundamentals, basically, right? <clears throat> so, first things first. Obviously, she left him because of his trust issues and his lack of confidence in the relationship, and because he was too controlling. Now, <clears throat> obviously. Right now, since the relationship has ended, she still loves him, don't get me wrong, but she holds the power. Why? Because she knows that she's the one who dumped him and she could get him back instantly, just like this. If she gave him a phone call, if she texted him, if she did this or she did that, she knows he's going to come crawling back and she might like it, but still, she knows she holds the power. And also, she knows that there are fundamental issues that are not solved so even if he says verbally, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a better person right now. I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. And then she's going to be like, it's only been four fucking days since the breakup. And you're really a different person? It doesn't make any sense. It's, shit doesn't happen overnight. It takes at least, at least weeks and months, right? And so right now she holds the power, like we said. So the way to get her back right now would be to cut off all contact between her, between you and her. Because why? She holds all the power right now. She needs to miss you. She needs to feel your absence. There, need, there needs to be a detox period between you and her where it's like kind of like a drug, right? You're withdrawing from a drug because you just, you just withdrew from a drug. You used to take high doses of it in a lot of time. You were dependent on it and you were addicted to it. And then all of a sudden you stop it. What happens? You get withdrawal symptoms. The same thing with human beings. All of a sudden you stop contact with this person who used to give you a dopamine rush. You know, they make you feel so good. And then after that dopamine rush, you just cut it. You just cut all contact. It's like, holy shit. Like, I feel like shit right now. Obviously you do because you need to detox from them, right? <clears throat> detox. So what I recommended for uh, him to do, I'm just going through the notes. Hang on. Yeah. So right now he has to detox from her and he has to make her detox from him. Now, the proper way is to back off and give no contact whatsoever, no calls, no texts, no liking of posts, no sending snaps, not even messaging them for their birthday. As fucked up as that may sound, he has to do this. She needs to feel his absence. She knows she loves him right now, but he needs to speak to her emotional brain, which is more powerful than logical brain, to get her to be able to reach out to him. She needs to feel his absence. She needs to feel that she's really going to lose this guy if she does not do anything about it. And also, <clears throat> for this particular guy... So that he hits two birds with one stone. You know, the first the first uh, bird was hit because he's going to back off from her. He's not going to contact her for a period of forever since she's the one who broke up with him. That's the first part. The second part, he's simultaneously during this time going to work on himself. He's going to work on his jealousy issues. He's going to work on his controlling issues. He's going to work on his insecurity issues. You know, I gave him a couple tips how to do that. And I could give you tips to do that as well during our sessions. But... So as he hits these two birds with one stone and as time goes by, we tend to look at the past with rose-colored glasses, so to speak. So we tend to look at our past relationships. As time goes by, we tend to forget the bad memories and remember the good ones. You know, she's going to remember that, yeah, he was kind of toxic. Yeah, he was kind of controlling. Yeah, he was kind of overly jealous. Yeah, he didn't give me my freedom. But I, I also like this, this, and that about him. And so the days and the weeks are going to go by. She's going to be like, 
holy shit, he's not reaching out to me. I expected him to reach out to me, even if it's not on a conscious level, on a subconscious level. I expected him to reach out to me, but he hasn't reached out to me. What's going on? Is he seeing a new girl? Is he going through therapy? You know? And I also recommended that during his time, during this time of backing off from her, he doesn't, he pretty much withdraws everything from social media. No posts, no nothing. For at least like a period of three, four weeks. And then he goes back and then he gets to share something positive or whatever it is so that he gets to show the world the new and improved him, so to speak. And then she, if she picks up on it, she's going to be like, oh, wow. Within, you know, within this period of time, this guy changed. It's a different him. It's an upgraded him. You know, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Is he seeing someone else right now? Why is he so happy? The breakup was really recent. And then I guess her curious. And then with curiosity comes concern. And then after concern can come preoccupation. And then after preoccupation can come fear and then self-doubt. And after that fear and self-doubt can come obsession. She's obsessed with the fact that she needs to reach out to him. And if you get her through those stages, she's... She's not going to have a reason not to reach out to him because she's going, she, after this detox, she's just thinking about him too much. Curiosity, then concern, then preoccupation, then fear, then obsession to the point where she has to, you know, she feels like she needs to reach out to him just to see what's going on. Like she, she can't take it anymore. <laughs> Ideally, that's what we want to do with him. So the withdrawal period makes the other person want to come back. I know every single fiber you know, of his body is telling him to go chase after her and go tell her how much he loves her. And that's not going to do shit because she already knows that. She already knows he loves her. But the fundamental issues, which was why the relationship ended in the first place, they're still there. They weren't fixed. So he needs to fix them and he needs to detox from her and give her her space, let her breathe, let her live her life, let her taste the absence and let her, you know, be afraid that she's, it's very likely that she's going to lose him. And that she may have made a bad mistake. <clears throat> so, that's the uh, the stages that she, her mind's going to go through. Next up is, okay, so when her state, her mind goes through the stages, it is very likely that she's going to reach out to him. Typically, after one to two months of a breakup. Typically. And I said very likely, I didn't say absolutely. Why? Because we're dealing with human beings and we're not dealing with fucking robots. That everything is just calculated. But, in most cases, you know, what I've seen and from my clients... One to two months after a long-term relationship like that. <clears throat> Even short-term relationships too, but more so long-term relationships. Just because the memories, you know, all the good stuff that happened and all that time and the bond, the strength of the bond. Yeah. <clears throat> so when she reaches out, again, like I said, most likely she will. He's supposed to still be the same him, you know, enthusiastic, friendly, flirting, charming, you know. And if she calls him, obviously that's what he's supposed to do, which is better than text. But if she does text him, I recommend she, that he, sorry, does not go ahead and text right away because then she's going to be like, oh, he was waiting for me this whole time. You know, he wants to maintain a busy life, go about his business, fix his own issues for his own, for the sake of his own self, not even for her. And when she reaches out, give it a while and then, you know, reach, reach back out at the end of the day. And then keep it friendly and then keep it short and concise. Let her make the conversation go on, not you. You don't be rude. You don't, you know, you don't try to, you just seem like an asshole to her. No, you just keep it a little bit reserved. So to the point where she can kind of tell that you're reserved, but you're still friendly, but just reserved. You're not making too much of an effort to, to keep the conversation going. Just a little bit. We want to get her to be doing these things. We want to make her, you know, do these efforts, not him. <clears throat> And when that happens, he just tells her good news, you know, a very brief summary of like the best thing that happened in the week or, you know, some really good news. And then end the conversation after like 10 minutes of, you know, phone time and just say, I really got to go. I, there's, you know, something I really got to take care of right now, but I can't wait to see you, you know, like I can't wait to see you on Thursday after you've, um, you've set a date with them. Oh, perfect. All right. See you then. And then you see him then. And then there you go. That's the first date. And then if you keep up with this behavior and she sees that you've changed, actually, and it's not just a fucking front, she's going to very, 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 very likely reach out to you again and want to get back together with you if you, if you play your cards right and if you rinse, recycle, repeat. Rinse, recycle, repeat. Practice makes perfect. And then, boom, you have your ex-girlfriend back. But like I said, there's levels to it. There's no, there's no um, guaranteed answer. 
but I'm giving you the most likely possibility of getting your ex back through these stages from what I've seen in my current experiences in my life and with my, uh, you know, with my current clients. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it, man. And uh, also what I like to say is this is just a general, you know, a general map out of what to do when your ex-girlfriend, you know, to get back your ex. But for a specific approach, you have to get my personal help because every situation is specific and every situation is different. And I will give you a specific map, map plan and a specific way to, you know, fix your problems. And then it's just going to be a matter of time before you get them like this. <clears throat> So if you would like that type of personal help, just go to my website, www.dopelifecoaching.com and book either the free 10-minute consultation and the offer is going to expire soon, so just beware, or um, book one of those other sessions, the 45-minute or the one-hour session, and make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.